Space industry challenges are not just about engineering complexities, material science, or even the vast sums of money required to reach orbit. They also extend to the legal terrain, where patents, contracts, and even competition between companies can be just as fraught as any technical hurdle. Jeff Bezos, the founder of Amazon and space exploration company Blue Origin, is a seasoned veteran when it comes to navigating the intricacies of both technology and law. However, he now finds himself in an intriguing new predicament. An Amazon shareholder has filed a lawsuit against Amazon's board of directors, including Bezos himself, over the company's decision-making process concerning its Kuiper satellite project. This lawsuit is unlike any other that Jeff Bezos or Amazon has faced before, and the stakes could be especially high. Before delving deeper into this captivating legal development, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any updates regarding the space industry. The Kuiper project aims to deploy a constellation of low Earth orbit satellites to provide broadband internet service around the globe, directly competing with similar projects like SpaceX's Starlink. Now, if you've been following our channel, you might notice that Blue Origin and SpaceX often appear to be mirror images of each other. Both companies aim for the stars, literally and metaphorically, but with different philosophies guiding them. Blue Origin's motto is, step by step, ferociously, advocating for a slow and steady approach. SpaceX, on the other hand, lives by the mantra of rapid innovation and has a history of pushing boundaries, often taking risks that others shy away from. You can't discuss Blue Origin without talking about SpaceX, founded by another colossal figure, Musk. Both companies have been involved in rocket technology, satellite internet, and plans for lunar and Martian exploration. But it seems that SpaceX always has a nose ahead in the space race. Whether it's the successful landing of the Falcon Heavy's side boosters, the high-profile missions for NASA, or its burgeoning Starlink network SpaceX, seems to capture the public's imagination more than Blue Origin. But let's return to Earth for a moment, where Amazon's Kuiper project is facing a unique challenge, not from SpaceX, but from an Amazon shareholder. A lawsuit has been filed against Amazon's board, including Jeff Bezos, questioning the decision-making process behind the Kuiper satellite system. While the details of the lawsuit are not fully public, the overarching issue appears to be around governance and whether sufficient due diligence was exercised in the deployment of resources for Kuiper. So what does this mean for the future of Kuiper and by extension for Blue Origin? Legal battles can be time-consuming and costly, and there's a real concern that ongoing litigation might divert focus and resources from the project itself. And let's not forget the competition. SpaceX isn't waiting around. They're continually expanding their Starlink network, signing up customers, and quite literally, shooting for the moon. According to FCC regulations, Amazon has a deadline. They must launch 50% of the total 3,236 Kuiper satellites by July 30th, 2026, and complete the entire project by July 30th, 2029. The stakes are high with $10 billion invested into the project. Amazon went public with their launch provider partners, ULA, Ariana Space, and Blue Origin, in April 2022, but someone was conspicuously absent, SpaceX. On August 28th, an Amazon shareholder filed a lawsuit against Amazon's board. Here's where things get spicy. The lawsuit insinuates that SpaceX was intentionally omitted from the list due to the rivalry between Jeff Bezos's Blue Origin and Musk's SpaceX. The lawsuit argues that the omission of SpaceX as a launch provider may cost Amazon hundreds of millions more than necessary. And let's be candid. There are legitimate concerns over whether ULA, Ariana Space, and even Blue Origin can meet the ambitious Kuiper deadline set by Amazon and mandated by the FCC. With its proven Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets, SpaceX could have been a reliable, cost-effective option for any organization looking to launch satellites, cargo, or even humans into space. The company has managed to maintain a perfect safety record over its last 228 launches, dating back to September 2016, showcasing the dependability of its rocket systems. The Falcon 9's reusability record is just one piece of a much larger puzzle that makes SpaceX a compelling choice for a range of aerospace applications. In 2023 alone, SpaceX has already launched an astonishing 70 rockets, 66 Falcon 9S, 3 Falcon Heavies, and 1 Starship. 
The company has set an ambitious goal to increase that number to 100 launches by the end of the year. Achieving this would mean maintaining an unprecedented launch cadence of a rocket taking to the skies every three to four days, which would be a game changer for the space industry in terms of accessibility and affordability. This year's staggering launch frequency builds upon a record-breaking performance in 2022. Last year, the Falcon 9 rocket set a new standard by successfully completing 60 launches within a calendar year. This achievement was momentous for several reasons, not least of which was the fact that it shattered a long-standing record that had been in place for over four decades. The previous record was held by the Soviet Union's Soyuz rocket, which conducted 47 launches, 45 of which were successful back in 1979. SpaceX didn't just break the record, they significantly surpassed it, marking yet another milestone in their growing list of achievements. Furthermore, SpaceX has already deployed more than 5,000 Starlink satellites, demonstrating the company's capabilities in handling large-scale projects. ULA, Ariana Space, and Blue Origin, despite their respectable reputations, all come with baggage that should concern Amazon and its shareholders. ULA is wrestling with its transition from the Atlas V to the Vulcan Centaur. Ariane Space is still recovering from a few setbacks related to its Ariane 5 rocket. And Blue Origin, they have not yet successfully launched a single vehicle into Earth's orbit. Its new Glenn rocket has been in development for years and is still not ready for an orbital launch. New Glenn's debut has been delayed multiple times, and it relies on the B-4 engine, whose production status is nebulous. ULA relies on Blue Origin's B-4 engine for its Vulcan Centaur rocket. However, with ongoing delays in B-4 production, ULA's timeline looks increasingly unrealistic. Amazon is now in a precarious situation. The clock is ticking, and their Kuiper system remains grounded. Bezos's personal rivalry with Musk seems to have clouded the decision-making process, which may cost Amazon not just time and money, but also its reputation. Should Amazon fail to meet the FCC deadlines, the company's standing in the aerospace industry would be significantly undermined. The dream of competing with SpaceX's Starlink would be pushed even further into the realm of fantasy. For Blue Origin, the consequences are equally bleak. The company will have to watch from the sidelines as SpaceX continues to make advancements, particularly with its Starship project, deepening the humiliation for Bezos and his team. That's all for today's SpaceX update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.